Okay, today I'm just going to do a quick overview of Magpie. I'm going to show you a few of the tools, show you the main benefits of using Magpie. So right now I'm looking at a dashboard. This is where you first land as an operator um, onto Magpie. So Magpie was built for experienced operators, so for tours, activities, attractions, etc. So this uh, demo account is actually a live account, but it's also a demo account. It's for Skyline Sightseeing in San Francisco. Right now we have 28 products live on Magpie. Our average quality score is 93. I'll get into that in a second. So first and foremost, um, Magpie is a way to store and manage your product content. So we manage the descriptions, the inclusions, the exclusions, the images, anything to do with your product content. And once it's in Magpie, we can send it to resellers, including OTAs, Google, concierge down the street, basically a way to help you um, manage your distribution and get more distribution, get more sales. So let's jump into first the product list. So this is again, me an operator. These are the products that we sell in San Francisco. These are all hundreds, which is great. Um, we have some inactive products at the bottom, including test products, but let's go into uh, one of these products. So the one day hop on up off tour is a double decker bus tour of San Francisco. So once you go in there, you're going to see what looks a little bit like an extra net, like a via tour, get your guide, Expedia extra net. So we've got the name of the product, summary, description, longer description. If you want it, we don't recommend it. Um, highlights, inclusions, exclusions, all of that good sort of written content. I'm not going to go into all of these fields, but just to, so you know they're there, the know before you go, the booking cutoffs, cancellations, information for vouchers, uh, terms and conditions, that sort of thing. We manage your location. So locations are start location, end location, redemption location. Often that's the same thing, which is fine. Business address is your Google business profile. We connect with, uh, with Google. And then points of interest on the <clears throat> product itself. So things that you see on the tour, um, we also store here. Lots of settings, duration and categories and opening times and all sorts of things. Again, I'm not going to get into, but we have all of the settings of all of the OTAs. So we spent a long time when we built this, making sure that we could speak to all of them. So once it's in Magpie and you've got a good quality score, you can pretty much work with any reseller and you'll have all the information required we do store pricing um we don't go we don't go too much into depth on pricing um because we think that's something that should be run by your your res tech or your reservation technology platform your booking engine um but just to sort of go over it quickly so the, the structure in magpie is a product under each product you can have options you can have one option or many options so with lunch without lunch Underneath that, you can have available tickets like adult, child, youth, senior, et cetera. You can make more up if you like. And then underneath that, you have a price. So you have a retail rate, uh, a minimum rate if you like, and you can store a net rate in here as well. We don't go into more depth than that. We don't do seasons and we don't do dynamic pricing. This is a great way to manage pricing if you're doing sort of an annual contract. Maybe you've got a tour operator that just wants prices for the year, it's a great way to do that, but it's not meant for live sort of dynamic pricing. Gallery is images and video if you like. So you store images in one place in Magpie and then you add them to products. So you can actually have one image which may be good for a number of products. And then we have FAQs, frequently asked questions. I'll get into more of that in a while. So that's the basics of a product. We're going here to optimization. And you'll get this score. Let me let me show you a bad one. Um, 100 is it's out, of, out of 100, so clearly 100 is good. So this is not a live product. So Family Hop is um, an old product, so it hasn't been updated, hasn't got all the full information. Let's go to optimization, and it's going to tell you what's wrong with it. So our description summary is too many characters. Um, there's no address. The the highlights are too long. Um, the inclusions are too long, that kind of thing. So it's going to basically tell you how to write a perfect product. Um, so it's not too long, not too short. It's got all the full uh, information in there. So once you get your products in there, you, you set them to active. A quick note on how to onboard with uh, Magpie in the first place. By far, 
the majority of people that start with Magpie import their products from somewhere else. So most people import from an OTA. So if you've already got an account with, say, Viator or Get Your Guide or Amusement or Expedia or one of those, you can connect that account to Magpie and import all of your products. Once they're imported in Magpie, you, you've generally got a really good baseline for them working with them from there. So that's just the fastest way. It's one click to import your products. So what you would do with that, you would go to distribution, you would go to manage resellers, and then these five across the top are direct integrations. So uh, Viator, Expedia, Get Your Guide Amusement all have extra nets that if you have an account with them, you log in to manage the products. So if I go to my Viator hub here, this is my connection with Viator. If I want to edit that, or if I need to create a new one, I go in here, I add my Viator credentials, username and password, hit connect, and it's going to connect with that, and it's going to import all my products from Viator. Um, so you can see on the left and the right, this is what the product is called in Magpie. This is what that same product is called in Viator. You can have different names for different products in different extra nets, that's fine. So once you've imported them all, you can then fill the gaps. Uh, for example, Viator doesn't have highlights. Get Your Guide does. So you can then create highlights within Magpie to export them to Get Your Guide or vice versa. So we'll help you get all your products up to 100 on quality score. We recommend at least 80 before you start sharing your products. And then you can start sharing, you, you can start um, sharing with resellers. <clears throat> Like I said, we connect directly with these. Google Things to Do is um, our, probably our most popular program. We submit directly to Google, get your products listed, lots of free listings available on Google. And then you can work with any of these resellers. So they don't all have, they don't all have extra nets to connect with. So if they don't have an extra net, which is most of them, what you do is you go to your products, you go to share products. So I just met somebody last week at a trade show and that person was hotel beds and we talked about them selling these three products so i'll select the products i'd like to share uh, because i'm an admin i have to do this you wouldn't see that and then on the right you're going to say okay we're going to share these with hotel beds you're going to preview that product that email and this is what hotel beds are going to receive now, i'm not going to send this because this is actually live so hotel beds are going to receive this email and it's going to say these products, these are the different versions or languages or different types of uh, product. They're going to click on that and they're going to see the same information you've just entered in the, in the admin there. And this is meant for a really quick way for them to get that information and put it into their system, their content management system or their CMS. So they can get to all of this information exactly the way you put it into the front. The other thing they can do on their side is they can view the history. So if you're working with hotel beds and you've made changes to your product and they want to see those changes, they can just click on this and they can see the most recent changes you've made to this product. Even better than that, uh, hotel beds know that they last touched this product in September and they all they want to know is what's changed since then. They don't want to read through docs and long emails of this changed on this date, this changed on this date. So they put a date in and it tells them exactly what's changed since the day you since the day last updated that product. So it goes through all the fields, tells them exactly what to change. You can also view that on your side if you like. So this is how you can share with any reseller, including the concierge down the street. If you just want to share all of your products, have them look um, and see your full catalog of products that you offer. And then you've got a profile page here within Magpie as well, just tells about the company, who to contact, and it's got all of your products listed tells them um, who they're connected with for availability, which res tech, that kind of thing. So that's sharing with resellers. You can share as many times as you like. A couple of other things I'll go through. Um, let's go back to products, product optimization. And then I'll show you some stuff on Google. <clears throat> so optimize. Um, these are A lot of these are AI tools now we've been building AI tools very rapidly for the last seven months. So writing suggestions, you can actually take your description, click generate, and we're gonna go through your description and we're gonna tell you suggestions to make that description better. Um, there you go, some improvements, make it more clear and compelling, 
highlight the benefits, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to go through all of those. It's going to give you an approximate score and then suggest ways to make it better. Another thing we can do is conflicts. We already ran this one. So it's going to go through your descriptions and things like duration and start points, et cetera. And it's going to tell you if there's something which may be in conflict. For example, the duration is mentioned as one day, but it says you can use it. It says visit the sites for two hours. That may or may not be a conflict, but we're just trying to show you things that have, that may or may not come up that you need to check. And then you can also generate a full description. So you can generate a full product here with all of these fields. I could just hit regenerate right now, and it's going to create a new title, description, um, highlights, etc., using uh, ChatGPT AI. And, or I can go in and I can find keywords, that kind of thing. So I can go in and use these keywords. I could find new keywords uh, for search engine optimization or for SEO. And then I can save those keywords to use in a future description. So these are the ones I'm already using. These are the ones I might think about using. Alcatraz Island is an excellent keyword. Um, official city tour may or may not be. That's up to you to pick the ones that you like. I'm going to close that. The last thing we can do, well, there's lots of things we can do with this. The last one I'll show is they can you can translate here really quickly. So I've finished my English description. It's very good. I'm happy with it. And I just want to come I just want to translate that because um, hotel beds just asked for that in French. So I'm going to hit French. I'm going to now save that or uh, rewrite that in French. And there it is in perfect French language. Um, what I then do, because I don't want to save over my English, I go to save options and I go to create new version. So I'm going to create a version of this product. It's the same product. It's going to have the same availability, the same prices, the same images, the same duration, start points, points of interest, etc. I'm going to save it as a new language. I'm going to use the, um, let's just call this French. And I can create here. And it's going to save that now as a French, um, as a French version of this same product. So I've got a French version, German version, as many as I want. It. And I can do that as many times as I want. We have um, 83 languages available. Lots more AI tools within this. Have a play around. You can rewrite single fields. So I can go into description only. I can change the tone of my description. I can choose an audience. I can add some instructions, never mention this, always mention this, etc. I can add some keywords and I can regenerate that description right there using all of the above. It takes a few seconds, sometimes up to 30 seconds to generate these, um, but the the um, results are excellent. There's a new description that we just created. Um, other things that we do manage, uh, Google things to do. So this is increasingly popular. If you look at Google search results, a good percentage of the front page or the front few screens on mobile now are taken up by the Google things to do product. I'm not going to go into this in too much depth because I've done this in a lot of videos before, but you can go to the Google things to do section within Magpie. There's you, if you've got your product up to a decent quality score, there's not that much to do usually, but there are a couple of fields that you're going to have to add. So there's five steps. Um, the one that you'll generally have to add because we won't have it is the product landing page. So this is the your website page of this product. And that's because Google is going to send the, the traffic directly to your website. So it needs to know where to send it. This is tracking on the end. So this can track it for your Google Analytics. So you know that came from this program. Option name, price, you saw we already had that. Uh, locations, if you don't have them already. Um, add your points of interest. Your business profile is important that you get this. The way this works is, let's just delete that. And so now it's blank. So you type, you start typing in your business name and it will search for your business name and make sure you get the right one. So that's our business name right there. Save that. And then that is gonna match it on the Google front end to make sure your products are showing up on your business name. Uh, description reviews. Um, if, you, if you show reviews on your product page, you can add your reviews in here and your average score. All this information you should already have. There's a couple of settings, just three checkboxes. And then you add in, well, images you should already have. You add in some categories. And that's it. Your, your product is now ready to go for Google things to do. You submit that, we approve it, and then Google approves it. 
usually goes live within 24 hours or less. That's it for the sort of main core of Magpie. Um, other options we have um, are reviews. So because we already integrate with these large platforms, including TripAdvisor slash Viator and Google and Get Your Guide, you can import your reviews from all of those sources as well. So you import your reviews uh, once you've made your connection. And now you can see all of your reviews in one place. And once you've got your reviews, uh, depending on where they come from, if they come from Viator or Google, you can respond within um, within here. So you can hit respond to this Google review. You could send a note and that will go through Google and respond to that review right within Magpie. So you can also import them. You can also create a widget so you can display these reviews on the page, that kind of thing. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. That's the overview on Magpie. We work, like I say, just with experienced operators. Um, we work with some of the biggest attractions also in the world. We've got most of the um, observation decks in New York and and um, lots of lots of European companies operating walking tours, bus tours, people all over the world. So it's a product for everyone who's in this space and wants to help streamline and manage their products and then get those products distributed. Uh, through as many channels as possible with minimal work because we do understand every time you add a channel it comes with a lot more work so we're just trying to make that a one-stop shop and uh, one thing i should have gone through is just go through a quick how that how that changes so i've got my one day hop on up off and i've made changes in the um let's say the description and this product here this one is only on get your guide right now so i've just changed the description summary actually that's because so these little buttons here shows you the resellers it's connected with and the resellers that have this field. So Get Your Guide has a summary field. The description also has amusement. Amusement doesn't have a summary field. So I can just click export to Get Your Guide. It's going to pop up. I'm going to say, yep, this is the one I want to do, update and close. That's now changed that description summary on Get Your Guide. So I can have a different version of that for get your guide vital amusement, et cetera, if I like. So you can update from one field to multiple extranets. I can update a single product across all of my products on a single extranet. So there's lots of tools just to make your life easier to do one update and copy it across multiple places. And one last thing I'm gonna go into is auto notification. So if it's a non-connected reseller, so let's go to manage resellers and let's go to, for example, head out. So I have a contact at head out and it's support is our example here. So what I want to do is when I add this, when I add this contact for the first time, it's going to ask me for their name, their email, um, et cetera. We're going to check it's a, a live person at head out. And then you can go into this contact and you can set them to auto notify. So I just set them to auto notify this product. And every time I make a change to that product, we're going to compile them into a list. And then that person at head out or that email at head out will get an email daily of a list of all the products that have changed. So if you don't change anything, they don't get anything, then it'll have a list and it'll go to that uh, compare page that I showed you earlier. So they can see exactly what's changed. So that's just a quick way so that you don't have to think about sending emails out every time you make changes. You set that up in the first place, and then behind the scenes, it'll compile once a day to send those changes. That's it for now. I'll add more videos in the future with details on certain, certain parts of Magpie. If you'd like to sign up, you can sign up for free and use some of the tools. And then there's lots of plans to use the rest starting at $49 a month. If you need a more custom plan, please reach out. You can find us on LinkedIn, through the website, through chat, email. I'm Christian at magpie.travel. Um, we'd love to hear from you guys and get you started as soon as possible. Thanks for listening.